There are a number of areas that I like to emphasize when I'm talking to, to young people. Um, one thing is that you have to be very careful in what is, you know, popular wisdom. It's not always correct. Um, the general view, even when it comes to like the microprocessor, I mean, it seems like the main media tends to think the only use for microprocessors is making, you know, basically notebook computers or things of that nature. When we first came out with the microprocessor, we didn't look to put them into computer boxes. We were looking for other applications. And that came under the name ultimately was called embedded control. And today the media still does not seem to be aware of embedded control. And to give an idea, as an example, back in 1996, those of us who were involved with a microprocessor were recognized by the National Inventors Hall of Fame. And it was done at a ceremony open to the local public. This was in Akron, Ohio. Maybe several thousand local residents in attendance. And they told the attendees that they might have driven there in an automobile that was designed with the aid of a notebook computer. And we looked at ourselves and said, they missed the point entirely. Probably everybody drove there in an automobile that was running under computer control. That computer control is what we mean by embedded control. In fact, when I talk to young people, I like to say, I am an example of embedded control because I have a cardiac pacemaker in, in me that helps keep my heart running at its proper rhythm. So in effect, even there is a microprocessor.